welcome back to another video of Activeverse Universe. Today is a new day. Hey, and we got a what? We got a boinker. Let's, Let's go. go. That's a quick intro for you guys. Today we got Polo Cash transformation video. So I'm gonna be going over to his cribbo to do his hair. If you live in Air Phoenix, Arizona, like I keep saying, hit me up so I can do a transformation in your hair. Or we can go take you to a loctician if you don't trust me, or to a barber to get your fresh fade. Even if you don't have long hair, whatever it is, just hit me up, man. So we can collab, so we can bring the value to community, so our community can grow and everybody in this world can join us to creating their own universe. It's so simple, man. But today, banger man, y'all. Oh my goodness, I did two strand twist. Like two strand twist is one of the top favorite of my hair dreadlock style. Besides braid, this is what I have right now. But without further ado, here is intro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not the way. That's not the right way. Without further ado, here is intro. Oh, okay. I need a retwist. I can barely tell, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's a cop, bro. You're like, what do you mean, bro? You're like, what? Right. Every time my, my son is poofing from like each side. Bro, but what I'm saying is, though, it still looks good, oh, though. Like, bro, because, yeah, like, yeah. your hair texture and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, like, some people, awesome. man, you be like, okay, why are you coming out here with your hair looking like that? <laughs> <laughs> Two each is on, but yours, bro, like, you, you can't really tell. Good. What's the longest you've seen somebody go without a retwist? Me? Yeah. Uh, eight months. Eight months? Oh, wow. That's like free form. Bro, that, that, you got that a great hat to help me out, bro. I'm gonna pull this dreadlock out. Man, you know what you're doing. Going down the dread. I'm gonna do this with every single one. So it took him about an hour to separate. Now, I think. this is the part that really took the time. creates the look. It's cleaning oh. everything up, you know, doing the crochet hooking. I actually didn't use any. This video is to really encourage you guys. If your dreadlocks have gotten out of hand and you want to fix them, you can fix them. Dang, bro. Look very different. At that time, because I didn't know how to do retwist, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, Younger the Great used to do my retwist, so. And so, like, I was just like, bro, like, you gave me locks and you just left me like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the people are like asking for it like when are you gonna get a retwist when yeah. you... mm -hmm. and then man when I had a freeform locks for almost like eight months that was the time that I was really like upset that I didn't know how to retwist my hair and shout out to gun that are great of course for coming to rescue man he saved my life with that because I was literally debating on cutting my hair but shout out to him where I'm at is because of inspiration that came from his channel from him himself and uh, for who he is as a friend to me also so I'm I'm right here doing a retwist and it's crazy to say I know how to do a retwist nevertheless I'm doing it on somebody else's head that's just wonderful I don't do this as a full-time gig or anything like that I do this for a transformation videos but I would like to get somebody to do a retwist on people's hair so I can record at my best capacity because I'm better at recording than retwisting if you live in Phoenix and you are a loctician and you have a better time than me to do this then let me know so I can reach out to you I do have uh, a person that I go to often out here but I do want to get somebody that is on the fly that that can just that has just like open door policy or something like that because usually that person is uh, both especially during the holiday so I have to do these things myself I am a videographer not a loctician and so please help guys yeah, yeah. I've seen that you were showing something about brushing your locks yeah 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 I did a video around it too. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh yeah, they 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 are saying a lot of people that do it, they saying that a lot of lits come out whenever they do it. Oh like dead hairs are not like you know like, I see. They'll end up falling off anyway, come comes out and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. like dandruff that's like around your mm -hmm. sticking out. That mm -hmm. makes sense. Actually. So I guess I'm starting to see the benefit of it, you know. At first I was like, What? I was I was so confused. But bro. Really if you just wash them and let them soak, I think the link comes out but the brush I guess is a good idea it's the brush is good because like you know when you sleep and you get up and like you know yeah. you don't notice some certain things on your dreadlocks of course mm -hmm. that people will see and 
you know, people don't be telling you stuff like that. You know? uh, we were right here talking about brushing locks because recently I had, I had watched a video on TikTok and I can put it right there of this lady like that's brushing her hair and I was like, what the heck? I had never seen that. I had never seen that. I've been doing, you know, dreadlocks for almost two years now. Oh, three years now. And I'm not, I have not seen this at all. I was surprised to say that it actually is beneficial. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would have been the last person to say that, but I'm actually saying it, guys. I'm actually saying brushing your locks is very, very beneficial, especially if you're doing it in the morning and the nighttime. It's a good routine to have with your dreadlocks. If not, then guess what? You can always just shake your hair like I do, <laughs> if that would work. If not, man, just brush your locks. But right here, let me explain what I'm doing so you guys understand what I'm doing. He has basically Basically a two months of growth about 90 uh, 60 days of growth which means that he needs a lot of lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of attention to detail on what I was doing so basically I started from the back of his head I want to start with the back of his head because that's the easier part I'm thinking I don't know I saw uh, Tamber locks or she's locked in love doing this so I'm like I'm a follower so that maybe it's easier going from the back to the top so help me guys if one of you guys are locticians why do locticians start from the back of the head cuz I I don't know I just started from the back so I started basically retwisting his hair and I asked him if you want a two strand twist. Two strand twist is the easiest style to do, especially if you don't have a lot of clips. That's the best way to hold it down. And I did have a poly band, which are the like little rubber bands that go at the end of it. And I want to explain also, whenever you put the uh, poly band in the back end of it or at the bottom of it, please make sure that you are not using the soft part of your dreadlocks or the part that's not really locked use the part that's locked to put the poly band on there because the poly band will basically pull down some of your hair and you don't want those tips that are not blunted to be falling apart or you know coming out even worse and everybody has kind of like this problem also make sure you guys take care of your ends because if your ends are ruined because you're doing retwist or you know different things like that you will have to blunt tip it later on it will give you a lot of problems and you don't want to go through that a lot of times because the these are very sensitive part of your locks and if you keep like I said put a rubber bands on especially super tight it will continue to damage the tip of your locks when right, you're doing the styles. Worship music. Martial music is the most beautiful thing. Right. We need to you know we need to guard that with all our hearts you know what I mean. Right. Because like that can't be taken away from us. So just your personal opinion you don't listen to uh, Christian uh, rap? Uh, it depends who I listen to but I do listen to some of them. Okay, um, okay, cool. I listen to um, I'm sorry to put you on the spot. No, you good. Not Kylid. Not Kylid. I think that's his name. Not Kylid. Not Kylid. Um, and then there is another one called Caleb. Yep, that's my guy. I listen to him all the time. Yeah, Caleb is pretty Caleb good. Gordon. Caleb Gordon. Caleb Gordon, yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Okay. Because he, he let it be known. He like... I'm not rapping for y'all, I'm rapping for God. Yeah, so, yeah. We're talking about Christian rap, and uh, since I'm a Christian, I don't know if you guys know that, uh, I would like to listen to worship music. Worship music just speaks to my soul really well uh, to get me to the spirit really fast. So, you know, as a Christian, people don't know, but Christians uh, do prayer, and uh, it's kind of similar to some of the meditation you guys talk about nowadays, especially in the new age. Uh, but Christian meditation or prayer uh, goes straight to God and it basically is a communication between us and the Father through, you know, words exchanged. And, uh, you know, he speaks to me, uh, I speak back to him or I speak to him and he speaks to me. So it works like that. So prayer is not just a moment of silence for Christians or for believers. Just FYI, for those of you guys that are wondering what we're talking about, and that's why I listen to Christian music more than anything because it gets me to that place really fast to where I can communicate with God. that I quit my nine to five is so that I can be available because a lot of times when they ask of me I usually at work you know what I mean like I'm, I'm working except for Wednesdays and Sundays but I, I noticed that that was not enough that's not enough to that's fully to yeah myself as well. and I was like I'm gonna start Uber because then now it gives me that flexibility yes. and Uber became a hard egg too because I now I'm working all night long and coming to church you know I, I used to work till four in the morning and come to church to serve the next day at, at night. The reason I quit my job, I used to work at Fry's Electronics and then I went to, you know, doing Uber. Some of you guys didn't know because I did Uber videos. As you guys see right here, I did really, really funny pranks and also other style of videos in Uber, Uber videos. But one thing I learned is that even doing Uber, I don't have that much time to spend uh, serving at church. So serving at church is my ultimate passion of life and also uh, my, my goal that I have in my whole entire life, you know, serving God and so 
basically when I did Uber, it gave me flexibility, but I had to stay up sometimes uh, really at late night to try to get work done and uh, kind of hurt my family. You know, I have my wife now. And also, you know, I was just toiling around and uh, I finally decided to quit my job 2021. That was one of my goals that I accomplished this year. And now I am self-employed, just creating, you know, YouTube videos and stuff like that. And soon to be selling a dreadlock jewelry like the one he's wearing, uh, but has a peace sign on it and a cross. I ever want to add an extension to this hair right here, bro? Let me know. Okay. I have extensions that I was sent. Okay. That's the same one you, uh, I got one in here. Last time. I got an extension in here, but I'm gonna show you. That one right there? Yeah, that one right here. Okay. So, this used to be a hair that got cut. Yes. And I added an extension. You can barely even I'll tell. It, you know? Yeah, you can barely even tell. Cause you gotta leave, if he doesn't add the extension, or if he does, he gotta leave that twisted up for a while before I actually lock just for it up. It to yeah, it just becomes a small lock, yeah. Oh. But it can lock it up soon. Like, it can start anytime soon. Okay. You need a crochet needle. Diddy, I'm struggling. What? With, uh, what to do with my old locks, man. I just keep them in my little locker thing in the room. You got old locks? Still? Yeah, my first ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. I remember when you had long, long locks. I don't know what to do with them. So. Yeah, man, my locks were <laughs> like down in my back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sell them, bro. I'm just kidding. Nah, people would buy them, man. People would buy them. Yeah, they can use that for like, the, how you think women get those weaves? So seriously, I can sell those? Probably could, bro, I don't you can. know. I'm Whoa. telling you, you can. Yeah, you can do even, it. But even with the dye? Because I used to have dye too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the, the stuff that they sent me had dye on it or something. They can sell them, those as extensions themselves. Oh, wow. No, I'm thinking And it's real hair too, so you can sell yeah. them. I, I don't know how many you have, but. Oh, I got a lot. For the set that they sent me, they sent me, they sent me a lot, but it costs like three hundred dollars. Wow! Wow! So just imagine how much they're gonna pay you for those. Well, just cause the type of my hair, because yeah. I had to beg my barber just to cut it. He was like, "Man, what are these locks are tight, bro. What are you talking about? Let me ask you this: What happened to this lock right here? Why did it get cut? Which one? This one's in the front. To be honest with you, bro, man, I didn't even know there was anything wrong with them locks. So, did you see like the afro that he had right here? Yeah. Like, how did that become? Shorter than the rest of them. Did you used to have like a taper all the way up here or something? You know what I mean? You know how people get a whole taper and it's like no, not a no, taper, no, but the taper, but like broke and it just came because no, when, no. when mine does that, it's like separate sometimes. So Don't I you have like a, a thing right here in the front? Mm -hmm. So I noticed with his hair that uh, he has a bulk of afro in the front and it just seemed like it used to be cut and he started growing it recently because it was like about, it was about the length of half of a draw lock. And so I was wondering like, when, did you start growing this afterwards? Did you had a cut accidentally? Like I didn't know what was going on. And he explained to me he never noticed there was nothing wrong with it, that his locticians or anything like that didn't tell him or didn't point anything out. So he doesn't know what is going on. But I have noticed this afro little bulky thing in the front of his hair, which I combined to the locks not combined it but I twisted it with the one of the draw locks as you see in the front right right there by his glasses that's one of them and I had mentioned to him also if you wanted to add an extension to it I can because I recently added an extension the extension has the same thickness as his crazy to say but yeah and the texture so I told him if you need to ex uh, combine those I can combine them so I'm gonna hit him up one of these days and see if he's down for that so I can show you guys how to combine extension draw lock in case you guys have uh, fallen out of a draw lock or anything like that but actually earlier he did mention I just now realized he, earlier he did mention that he has his old dreadlocks so he used to have a long dreadlocks and he kept it after he cut it so we can actually use that because that makes sense that's his actual hair so yeah I'm gonna give him those two options see which one he wants to go with and we're gonna make that happen for sure because I don't think he will be against it Polo Cash is cool as heck so shout out to him before I go into the before and after of this transformation, I want to tell you guys I did interview him about his lock and his journey on Pineapple World. So if you guys have not checked that out, please go check it out. You will see the whole video there, why he started his draw locks, how many sets that he had had before, and where he's at and where he's going. Thank you guys for watching this video. Till next time, keep acting the version, creating your universe. Love y'all.